for rights. Leon Cooper, man, has bought a stake in Man United. I don't know where it evaluates to, but he has gone ahead to, to buy a new stake in the club of Manchester United. Welcome to United Matters channel. How are you guys and where are you watching us from? Second video of the day, and as I told you that, we are obviously going to obviously bring you content after content, and it's really unlimited. There's, there, I was, I was preparing to bring you a story about um, about Victor Oshman, about Jordan Sancho, about uh, Casimiro. But guess what happened? I found it out that it's really very important to bring out this breaking story that Leon Cooperman has gone ahead, obviously, by a minority stake in the club of Manchester United. And I'm here by going to present you this story. And I'm going to accompany the story of Marcus Rashford joining the England national team later because of the personal problems. We are going to discuss which personal problems is Marcus Rashford really having. And lastly, we are going to talk about the gift that Cristiano Ronaldo gave Marcus Rashford. And Rashford believes this is one of the most precious things that, she will, that he will ever own from a footballer like Ronaldo, who is the GOAT, one of the GOATs in this era of football so we thank god for the gift of life the muslims barak laufikum and let's start it off with this american billionaire american billionaire leon cooperman has taken a stake in man united billionaire and former hedge fund manager leon cooperman has taken a late stake in manchester united by purchasing just under a million shares currently valued at 16.8 million us dollars that's the that's the amount of money it's going to hit to inject and obviously buy stake in manchester united now we need to get to know who is this man and we've been told the following that cooperman was born on april 25th 1943 in broxon new york and is an alumnus of columbia university his career at gold man shakes spanned two decades after which he ventured into his own business he's married to toby cooperman and the couple have two children over the years cooperman's net worth has been has has seen a steady increase from 2.7 billion us dollars in 2018 it has impressively grown to 4 billion us dollars by 2023 his success as an investor has not only argumented his personal wealth but also position him among the elite hedge fund managers globally so this gentleman comes in through to obviously buy a minority stake in man united have the glazers sold some of their shares to him that is the huge question all one of those shareholders or minority shareholders among us the among us the 31 31 percent has gone ahead to sell his shares to this gentleman i think we are obviously going to get more highlights from the club of man united very 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 soon because this statement has to be put out by the club and we obviously need to obviously get to know who this guy is and what is he going to do but with the minority stake that's obviously getting in the club of man united it doesn't really give him what he deserves as a person to obviously take over the club of man united because even his net worth does not allow him to come in through and obviously be what we call do what we call do what we call a very 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 prominent stay where he is right about now so this gentleman has gone ahead to obviously do the needful and he's coming in through at man united and when you see such people coming in through you can smell that you can smell some blood you know there might be representing some other rich people who really want to really get under covers of the club of man united and obviously see exactly how these are obviously going to really pan on in the future some rich people do have some other rich people that work under them and they might be really sending them in here to see to it that they obviously take us to where we deserve to be as a club of man united as they do what we call the underground research because the moment you are a shareholder you deserve to obviously have a see through into the books of accounts and those books of accounts are obviously very very important for the club of manchester united and the more we obviously get people like those on board it obviously 
gets us into the way that maybe one day, one time, a rich man will come in the round of yesterday, purchase the entire club of Man United. But this comes after this week. Sir Jim Ratcliffe is expected to obviously start what we call the footballing control duties at Manchester United, and he has been given all what he deserves to take on the team of Manchester United. So we wait and see how that pans out. And I'm waiting for more elaboration, by the way, from Bloomberg. And um, because Bloomberg is going to hit to break the story, but we are waiting for more conversations and more confirmations coming in from the people that we know. It's a hint that we obviously went ahead to obviously do the needful and really get the best out of it. So that is it coming in from the guy known as um, Leon Cooperman buying a minority stake in the club of Manchester United. So that is it coming in from that man. And I think by tomorrow, you're obviously going to be getting more and more about this young man. Sorry, this old man. And let's go to Marcus Rashford. Now, Marcus Rashford has not reported to the English national team, though he was part of the team that was sanctioned by the national team manager, that is Gary Southgate. And we've been told that England says Marcus Rashford, will, Marcus Rashford will meet up with the England squad later this week due to personal matters. Now, talking about personal matters of Marcus Rashford, we all know that on the night he got a red card away in Copenhagen, Marcus Rashford's brother was arrested after assaulting what we call a woman. Was it a woman? If I'm not mistaken, it was a woman, I think, and that never went well with the brother. And I think... These are some of the things he really wants to obviously get done. And with the out of the way, he'll obviously find himself in a position of really making a final decision on when he's obviously going to show up. Because his brother doubles as his agent. If I told you, you never knew. The brother to Marcus Rashford is his agent, meaning that there is no way he's obviously going to be playing the game of football very well without his brother gaining his freedom. And I think he's working tooth and nail with the lawyers to it that this comes to pass and the brother really comes to where he deserves to be as he used to be and he was in usa i think in florida that's where he was really arrested so rashford is working to the nail to it that his brother obviously gets released but we wait and see what that is all about and um, we all want to understand what other personal issues is Marcus Rashford really having? Because it's really very, 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 very disturbing for the lad. Then, <clears throat> Marcus Rashford has gone ahead to reveal to us what Cristiano Ronaldo gave him. And it's really one of the precious gifts that he'll ever get from Ronaldo. He said, in 2018, Cristiano Ronaldo gave me his shoes and a shirt as a gift. And to this day, I never allow anyone to touch them. He was one of my favorite players when I was a child and I would and I would like to keep what he gave me forever. That is it. Coming in from Marcus Rashford. Let's talk about Cristiano Ronaldo. And remember, he gave it to him in 2018. And um, after 2018, I think 2018 is when we played Juventus. If at all I'm not mistaken. In that year... I think that's in that game that he, after that game, I think they played at Old Trafford and they beat us. Then later, they obviously got themselves going and we had to go to Turin and beat them. That's when we went ahead to qualify to the round of 16, though it, it marked the sucking of Jose Mourinho. But I think that's when he gave it to him and those shoes are really valued by Marcus Rashford. He looks, he has them as his souvenirs. And he really likes those shoes because those boots are really special. You know, anything that Ronaldo puts on a Lionel Messi, you can auction it and obviously even get a one a million dollar for it. That is it. You know, remember Jose Mourinho when he was still a manager of Chelsea. There is a black coat that was really long that he usually put on. And by that time in 20, 2004, 2005, there was a charity event and he obviously put up that court he, over, he, he obviously put up his court up for auction and guess what happened it was sold or auctioned for seventy thousand pounds by then it was a huge amount of money right now it i think it can it can it can equate to 
200,000 pounds. So it shows you the beauty of the souvenirs that people really get others. And that is what he does. And he says Ronaldo is his favorite player and he would like to keep what he gave him forever. That is Marcus Rashford. So guys, tell me your thoughts about Leon Cooper coming in through and buying a minority stake in the club of Man United. And what do you think about Marcus Rashford? What personal issues do you think are really perturbing him? To an extent that his joining the England national team has been extended to where it is now and is not in the camp of the England national team. I'll sign out for now. See you later. Bye-bye.